What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back to the channel, man. I knew you would be back because you always here. Y'all be here longer than I be here. Like, I think y'all have shown up to my job more times than I have shown up to my job. And I appreciate you, fam. But I need to address the new guy, girl, who just came by here for the first time because I don't want you to be surprised by nothing. <laughs> Okay, so if you came to watch a guy unbox some headphones and get his jam on and embarrass himself on the internet and you know, just talk about whether you should buy the product or not without getting too heavily into specifications and details you probably don't even understand or care about, you came to the right channel. If you want all that special audio file talk and stuff Go somewhere else. There's a ton of channels that do that extremely well. I just don't do that here. Now we got to get on with the regularly scheduled program. But first, I gotta talk about audible.com. Come on, man, I gotta get paid. You gotta click on the link down there. That way you can browse that humongous library. And I'm telling you, dude, they got tons of stuff for you to shove in your ear holes, like audio books and other audio programs, a huge plethora, like massive selection of audio programs. But here's the thing. If you click that link below, they're gonna give you a free 30 day subscription and a free audio book during that 30 days. Like you can't even beat it, man. So go ahead and click the link below, get your trial, get your book and shove it in your ear holes. Audible.com is where it's at. Now, let's get on with the Vankio C751 Bluetooth headphones. Let's do it. So as I get into this box, I want to tell y'all that Vankio is like known for their budget projectors. As a matter of fact, I got one of their projectors in my media room. It is the Vankio V620 uh, 1080p projector. I love that thing. Super quiet, great picture, and it's only like 200 bucks, right? And I got it on a 120 inch screen. But right here, man, get in here, dude. Why are you so far back? There you go. So right here, they have ventured into tablets and now they have active noise canceling headphones. So I'm kind of excited to see what they bring to the table because I kind of like Vankio, man. It's, it's a good company and I support what they do. So right off the top, you get a nice little unboxing experience with a case. Now, I haven't seen a case like a half shell case in a while, man. Usually it's, you know, the big one, but you know, it's a half shell and it's a semi hard case and it will protect your headphones. I kind of like this ballistic nylon they got going here. This is kind of stylish. So let's open it up, see what we got. Oh yeah, supplies and accessories. Okay, so what's in here? We gotta see, we gotta see. So we got a 3.5 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable with no microphone. There is no microphone on that. And then you have your airplane adapter. Cool for those international trips. And then you got, uh, hey, they doing it right off the top. USB-C charging cable to USB-A. That means these are up to date. I don't know what Bluetooth version they're running, but if they got USB-C, they must be running, you know, the, the latest Bluetooth version. Let's go ahead and close that up and take a look at that star of the show. Mm hmm. Now this is a classic headphone look. As a matter of fact, it kind of reminds me of the Bluteo UFOs, like the original version. I'm gonna jump to it real quick and see what these are like on my head. Let's see which one is left or right. I don't see, it's not clear. Ah, there we go. There's the right one. Ha. Ah. All right, so what we got here? How do they look, man? Tell me how they look. You know, I got that egg head, so. Oh, uh, I don't have an egg head. You got an egg head. I got a peanut head. <laughs> Okay, so they feel comfortable. They they do have a moderate amount of clamping force, so that means they're not gonna, well, they're, whoa! You see that? So the ear cups are sitting still, but the headband will rock back and forth just in case you need to make that type of adjustment. I, I don't think I've ever experienced that before. Let me show you how this works. So the ear cups sit right where they are, and then you can just slide that headband back and forth. That is a nice, that's nice. And of course they do swivel a little bit. They, they do have a joint. So if you can't get comfortable in these headphones, cause they were comfortable right off the top, it's almost self adjusting. But if you can't get comfortable right off the top, then you can just kind of adjust them however you want to. So that's cool. Now let's get in here a little bit closer cause we need to take a look at these ear cups. What's on them. All right, we got a Bluetooth. Oh, that must be power. So that, that that's a little Bluetooth icon right there. I'm assuming that's a power switch. Let me see. 
Yeah, that's power. Let me turn that back off. Then we got an ANC switch. That means that you should be able to uh, turn on the ACE ANC while these are turned off. So let's just see. Yep, the green light just came on. You see that? And now I'm gonna turn it off. And then you got your multi-functioning up and down button between tracks and volume. And then you got a multi-function button, which is your, your play and pause and answering and calls. Then you got your 3.5 input, microphone, and what else? Ah, there's your USB-C charging cable with an LED right there. And that's it, man. As far as like buttons and stuff, that's as far as they're taking it, which is cool because that's all you need on a good set of headphones. Now let's open these up. So you got some plastic backed up by this uh, steel right here on the band. And that's as far as they go. So they do not expand very much. However, these are large ear uh, headphones because as you can see on my head, I mean, they're, they're fitting very comfortably right now, and I have them on backwards. <laughs> they're fitting very comfortably right now, but um, if I need to expand them, ugh, they will expand, even though it doesn't seem like it's that much on the band right there. So yes, these are like for big headed people, the, the 25 head people. All right, so let's look at these ear cups. So the ear cups are nice and plush. Look at that. That's, I, that's gotta be memory foam or some grade of memory foam because it doesn't spring back extra fast. And the a vinyl that they use is, is really soft. It's not some vinyl that you're gonna, you know, some some vinyl that, you know, some companies use is like, it's like hard, almost crispy and it's loud and it makes a lot of noise. Like this is comfortable, this is plush. They use that same vinyl on the headband there, which is all the way around. So it gives it a nice comfortable feel. They do fold up, but they do not swivel. And now it is time to tell you what you really want to know. But do they jam though? Give me the beat boys and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Give me the beat, boy, to free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh! oh. Give me the beat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. That, that don't be great. That's a good one. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all about the experience. <laughs> oh, let me dry my eye out, man. My allergies get to me. Okay, so uh, everything really does sound good. Uh, we're talking about a budget set of headphones here, so manage your expectations. So to that regard, it does sound good with the noise cancellation off. You're gonna get uh, a better, a better feeling of the sound, like it kind of you know, engulfs you and gets you in there with, with good bass and, and some mids and highs. Not perfectly balanced though. So, you know, it is a little bass heavy, but when, once you turn on the noise canceling, uh, the, everything just kind of moves to the background. Everything, you, it's, it's almost like it feels a little bit distant, but you do have active noise canceling if you are listening at low volumes and then, you know, the like engine roars and things on your surroundings won't bother you. So it's kind of a trade off there, but, once you get used to that active noise canceling being on, uh, it's a good listening experience. So, you know, once your your ears adjust or once your hearing adjusts to that sound shift, because uh, there is one, uh, once it adjusts, it's still a good quality listening experience. I, I enjoyed it, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as far as the active noise cancellation goes, um, you know, with this price range, you can only expect so much uh, active noise cancellation and it does its job well to that standard. So what it's gonna do is, you're going to be able to block out, you know, the deep rumbling engine noises, uh, fans, you know, just engines and stuff like that, you know, like the, you know, the deeper tones. But as we get up into the higher pitched song, uh, tones, such as voices, kids playing, clinking dishes and water running and stuff like that, that sound will feed into the uh, headphones, you know, as normal, but, they are pushed into the background, so it's not like they're just right up on you anymore. So let's just say somebody, I was in the kitchen, right? And somebody was washing dishes and it's really loud and just kind of in my ears. If I put these headphones on and uh, turn the active noise cancellation on, it's going to sound like I walked into the next room. So I'm gonna be able to hear those dishes and the water and stuff, but it sounds like it's a lot further away and it's not as distracting and annoying. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do a microphone test. So right now I got the headphones 
on and I'm just talking through its mic. So we'll see uh, what the other caller is going to hear when you're talking to them on the phone, just as a call quality test. Now, I do have to say that the recordings of these mic tests do not accurately represent what you're going to get in the real world. One, because I'm in a controlled environment. Two, because the court, the recording just doesn't sound as good as it does in real life. So whatever you're thinking right now about this sound uh, that you're getting from the mic, think of it just a little bit better in real life. Now, in conclusion, I like them. I like the build quality. They seem very, very durable and they're comfortable for real. They come with the case. You're getting a lot of value here, man. And as far as the sound signature, I do approve with the ANC on or off because it is two different sounds. Can you get your jam on? Yes. So throw the emoji hands up for the Vankyo C751 active noise cancellation headphones look man i had a good time doing this video i got to jam one of my favorite songs of all time and i hope you had a good time too i gotta get out of here and go make some more videos but before i do i want to tell y'all that i have two more channels man i do you know uh, showcase videos on all kinds of other products and then i have a vlog channel which you know those those channels are just as fire as this one so subscribe to those and i gotta get out of here man i got a whole bunch more videos to make so y'all keep being good to each other and i'll see you when i see you oh so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place take what you want then leave huh man you better hit that subscribe and notification button that way you know when i'm over here opening up new stuff and while you're down there you might want to consider tapping that uh join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks see that wasn't so bad all right man i appreciate you and i'll see you at the next one are you not entertained are you not entertained is this not why you are here